Will mRNA COVID vaccines alter your DNA? That's right, it's probably something that you've seen floating around on the internet, the suggestion that taking an mRNA vaccine for COVID will change your own DNA. But is that true or is that just a lot of falseness running around on the internet? Um, I'm gonna answer that question today because I think this is really important, especially in light of the fact that we've got the Pfizer and Moderna COVID vaccines sort of on the horizon. Uh, they've released preliminary data that looks favorable so far. Uh, those are both mRNA uh, vaccine platforms. And yes, the mRNA vaccine platform, M stands for messenger, messenger RNA platform, is a new platform for vaccines, but it doesn't mean it hasn't been studied before. It has. So let's talk about uh, messenger RNA and M mRNA vaccine and what actually happens with this. Because I know you're saying like, okay, so what's the deal? Does it affect our DNA or does it not? Now, I recently read this BBC article that I think did a great job of sort of describing how this vaccine actually works in our body. And I think that's really important to understand, to kind of understand the answer to this question about whether these vaccines will alter your own DNA. First of all, um, first of all, remember that this vaccine actually contains a fragment of the COVID virus's genetic material, okay? So that's what the um, mRNA vaccine platforms have. Contains a little piece of the virus, COVID virus's uh, genetic material or the RNA. RNA is genetic material, okay? And then what happens is when you get that vaccine in your body, um, the vaccine works actually by giving your body instructions. So you're getting the vaccine, the vaccine on the inside of you gets inside, inside cells and gives your cells instructions on how to make a protein which is present on the surface of the coronavirus. Sounds a little backwards, but this is what happens. Okay, so the vaccine is getting in there and getting in your body and giving your cells instructions on how to make a protein that exists on COVID. What happens then is that your body then begins to be able to recognize COVID and produce antibodies against it, against the protein. Um, and that's super, super important. That's actually how our body builds up protection um, against COVID in terms of this platform. So it's kind of interesting, right? So, it, you know, this is really what actually is happening. Nowhere in that process are we affecting or altering someone's own DNA. This is not gonna change your genetic code. It's not gonna alter your DNA because you're getting an mRNA COVID vaccine if you choose to do that once, assuming uh, these uh, mRNA COVID vaccines are approved. So what's the answer? What's the verdict? Well, well, the verdict is that this is false. If you hear or see claims on the internet saying that these mRNA vaccine platforms or messenger RNA platforms will actually alter your DNA and change your genetic sequence and all that kind of stuff, well, that's a whole bunch of baloney, okay? So guys, I, I say this because I don't want you to be afraid of the vaccine and I don't want you to necessarily believe everything that you see or hear. So that's why we're talking about it. And of course, as COVID cases increase, we're likely gonna see more and more myths running rampant. And that's why it's important that we know the facts. No altering DNA here, okay? Guys, I hope this was helpful. Please share it with other people because we wanna get the truth out there, not other myths. Guys, I am Dr. Jen Cottle, and thank you so much for watching this video. Please share it with others who want to get the truth out there. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. Also, make sure you click the little bell to get updates. Guys, I will be back with more COVID information soon.